Joining us next is the world famous Sabrina Fala. Hi, Sabrina. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Well, I'm, 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 I'm making you laugh right off the get-go. That's good. How have you been since the last time we <laughs> talked? Yeah, I've been good. Yeah. Um, dealing with the COVID thing, but I'm I, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So what Keeping is myself busy doing? Lots of radio stuff. Yeah. What's what's new in the Sabrina Follow World? I heard you you're doing something with the BBC. Yeah, I recently got on BBC. I'll be interviewed on Tuesday. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> really? That's cool. So, uh, what what is that about uh, you, any new tracks you got coming out? What's going on with that? What's what's going on with the music life of Sabrina Fala? Well, be, be, well, COVID pretty much stopped a lot of the recording process. So... I'm still writing, but I hope to get into the studio by next year. But I didn't let COVID stop me completely. I just kept pushing my music to radio stations and did virtual shows online. And I just kept doing what I could do with the situation that's going on. So um, I didn't try to let, let it affect me too much. So... And you're right. You said you're writing material right now. Anything? Uh, anything you want to yes. hint hint at us? <laughs> no. No. Oh, she's because keeping it secret. The, the The problem. The problem is it can change. Anything can change in the process. So I can't say that anything is final right now. But but um, but, um I I really want to. I, all I can say is I, I really want to do a Christmas song, too. So that I can say, because that I'm trying to do. It's a goal to do a Christmas song. It, it, but I don't know if I'm going to write it or if I'm going to do a cover. But I really want to do a fun Christmas song you write for such next great, year. You write such great music. You should go ahead and make your own. Yeah. You got any I'm, titles? I'm you, you got any titles you're thinking of? Santa's coming to my house, and we're going to have a party or something like that? Titles don't really come first to my mind. Okay. I normally write the song, and then the title comes. It depends on the song. Christmas songs are not that easy. <laughs> um, I have to really think of... I, I have to write it during Christmas, definitely, because, that, because I'm still in, in the Halloween moment right now, the Halloween scene, so... Well, you, but yeah, I really need to think of that way. You can get, and <laughs> yeah, you, you can get in the mood with with, the, with all the snow and the uh, and like you said the the reindeer yeah, and I need, Santa. I need, I, I, yeah, I, I I need that. I need that. I need that. I need the snow outside, which they did say to us that we were supposed to get snow, but it didn't come. So. <laughs> well, can you're in Canada, so you're gonna you're gonna get snow uh, more than you ever yeah, want, probably. Yeah, our our, our 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 snow is gonna be coming very soon, so I'm ready for it. So, do you ski? What do you, what do you do in the winter up there? Um, I used to ski and snowboard, but uh, since I uh, <laughs> fell off the chairlift, I don't ever go back on again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually fall off the chairlift like from the height. I was trying to get off of it and my glove got stuck and I and I like fell off like a, a little bit but since that happened I'm like never going up on a chairlift ever again. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, so. so when you write your songs, do you sit down with an acoustic guitar? Do you play on the piano? What's the basic writing method for Sabrina Fala? Acoustic. Fowler? Acoustic, uh, huh? Acoustic guitar. I play piano, but I, I, I write with, with my guitar. Yeah. Um, and I don't have, like, a, a way of writing. I just grab my guitar, start strumming, and start singing lyrics. What comes out, and I go I go with that. Um, I don't really have, like, a structure or anything. I just write, and then I fix it up. As you, when you go I in just the write what's on my mind. Right, yeah. and and you work with other musicians that help you refine this. I have. Now, I, I yes, I have. I, you, I have done. I have co uh, co written. So yeah. 
So I was going to ask you. And yeah, like, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to say sometimes I, I write a song and then I bring it to someone and they just help me improve it, make it more commercial, which that, I have done. And that's probably what you're going to do with uh, the Christmas song. Is it going to be like? Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. Is it going to be like a sappy Christmas song, a a, a, a joyful Christmas song? Do you have any, any idea? I want it to be a rock, a, like <sighs> some kind of, with good guitars and, and That's drums. That's the thing. And, it's yeah. because I I want it to be a rock, a fun, rocky, jumping, up and down kind of feel fun. So more, uh, more like uh, front I, line I, style. I want people to, to be re- relaxed and having fun, not feeling like. It, I want pe- people to dance around with it, so dancey, but in a rock groove. Yeah, something more closer to "Kisses a Killer" and front line, not like "Hurt" or any of those other uh, the slower stuff. Is what you're saying? I, I was thinking more like front line feel, but yeah. Yeah, we're we're gonna play that uh, uh, in a little bit here because that is my favorite Sabrina Fowles song. Why don't you tell us about oh. that tune? Well, Frontline, I wrote it with Heather Mary. She, she's in Vancouver, so we had to do it over uh, Skype. And um, I recorded it with Chris Burkett, who is in Toronto. And, um, yeah, I wrote it about... It, it was a time when I was in Toronto, away from my friends, and I was feeling like distant and I, I wasn't feeling it you know as you want to succeed in life sometimes you lose friends you feel like you're distancing from people so I, I wrote the song about going for what you want no matter what I'm going and that's you if, Sabrina. if you're gonna come with me or not I'm going and that's how it is in anything in life if you want to go for something you can't expect everybody to be next to you but you will make new new friends who will stick by you. That's what the Banger Music Hour is all about. Which I have. Which I have. Because <laughs> my song Hurt is about me leaving my friends. I wrote Frontline about going for my dream. Hurt about when I left them. And now I'm happy because I made new friends who are actually real. Who stayed. Who aren't just leaving because... I'm moving up in in my career. You should be supporting people, not not walk away from them. You know. Yeah, and Godzilla supports you, you, right? Because you wrote about right. (laughs) Godzilla supports you because you wrote about him, didn't you? (laughs) He kisses really good, or something. Actually, my the actually the song the Bill who wrote that song with me came up with that line in the song, so. He gets that credit. But yeah, oh yeah, Godzilla is on my side too. <laughs> well, God, I grew up loving Godzilla, so when I first heard your song and you had it in there, you already won me over. I'm like, somebody singing about <laughs> Godzilla? My inner child came out. I was like, oh, that's fun. <laughs> so, yeah. outside of a Christmas song, what do you what do you got planned over the next couple of years? My plan, hopefully, to get an album out, but I don't. I but I, I definitely need to put music out. But I would love to do an album. If I'm gonna put single, 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 then album, or do it all, I don't know. But I would love to do an album one day. Some of the a art- full album, twelve, yeah. twelve songs, twelve songs. Full. That that that'll be cool. Yeah, some yeah. of the artists that we've talked to already today have discussed both the the idea of doing the full album, and some of them really like the full album, and other people or other groups were like, "But the singles are where it's at right now." And you know, it. I love the full album myself. That's all I've ever done in my music career is just do a full album. I've never done a single, so I don't even know the benefits of it. Like, you know. Like, like you would know with your, your singles. Yeah, because I always release an EP, an EP. When I did Frontline, I was working on my CD, but then I went to Nashville and everything changed to, to the Kisses a Killer album. So that just happened to be a single. But 
you know, I, I'm so used to putting out more than one song at, at a time. That's why I'm thinking I should just do a full album. But I have to see how things go next year, first of all. Sure. <laughs> With you... everything. But that is a goal. And, and, and if I have to release singles first be, before the album, I'll do that. Because normally you do that to get people excited anyway. So. Well, we're going to be really excited to hear anything new from Sabrina Fala because <laughs> it's been it's been a couple years since you put something out, hasn't it? It's been two years. That was everything, if I and, remember correctly. And, uh, yeah, and and just so you know, I was about to get into the studio, and then the COVID thing just started, so that completely wrecked it. But it's okay; it didn't stop me from being creative and doing other things. But I just couldn't go into the studio. But I still did online shows and. I still I, I sang on, on, on radio, Skype, Zoom, live on the air, but doing it through the Internet. I, I did all that. So I, I didn't stop singing. I just didn't go outside in front of the people, which no. I, I prefer singing in front of the people because I'm so used to that, you know. It's different looking at yourself on the camera singing to people than actually seeing them in front of you. Right, exactly. <laughs> Well, Sabrina, we really appreciate you coming on. I look forward to some new music from you. Um, you're, you're one of the most active uh, on the social medias, and uh, I really appreciate all the support you've given the show and being a presenter Thank for you. the Banger Music Awards last year. You're really oh, awesome. Oh, yes. It, it was, I remember. I know. I, you were great. You came through for us, and you did a great job. And it, it, you know, you <laughs> did, Sabrina Fala is just cool. What can I say? <laughs> 